Hey guys, once I'm on a cake here, and I just thought I'd do a quick video on how I sort of keybind. I want to do like a quick overview of what my keybinds are, how I use them, and why I think mine are quite different from everyone else's. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so when it comes to keybindings, I've used um, two different sort of keybinds. I've used the uh, keybinds on my keyboard, which I had the Microsoft Curve keyboard, and I also use at the moment the Razer Nostromo. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to separate the video into two different halves, the um, one being how I use the keyboard and one being how I use the Nostromo. So as I normally do, I'll leave annotations and it'll take you to the certain part of the video where I'm going over whichever one. Okay, so when it comes to movement with my keybinds, I only actually have three buttons that allow my character to move. I have S is to move forward, like this, D is to strafe right, and A is to strafe left. As from there, as for turning, I just hold in my right mouse click and just turn like this. This allows me to just quickly just switch directions, everything like that. And it's the main thing that's good about this is the fact that it's in the middle of the keyboard, sort of thing. Like there's a row of letters above it, row of letters below it. So basically, when it comes to attacking, I use my my main spammable abilities. In my case, would be backstab or hemorrhage. I put them to something that's really easy to reach from where my fingers will be. So in my case, underneath the A, which is straight left, I have Z, obviously. That would be my hemorrhage ability. So I can still spam this whilst running around like this. And F, which is next to my D, is my eviscerate. So it's basically just prioritizing your spells. Whichever ones you use the most, you want to put near your keybinds that you move with. So for example, eviscerate, I use that a lot. I put that next to D. So yeah, it still gives you options to use your numbers, 1, 2, 3, 2, I can reach up to 7, fine on mine at the moment. Gives me 1 to 7, I can use tab to Y, I can use caps lock, caps lock to H, I can use Z to just about N. So it gives me a lot of options, a lot of keybinds to use, and obviously with shift modifiers it's just double it up basically. So Yeah, that's what I'll, I'll put a few images around the video showing you exactly what I mean by all these positionings and things, but yeah, this is basically how I use my keyboard, and uh, I'll move on to the Nostromo now. As for Nostromo, I basically just did exactly the same thing. My keybinds are the same positioning wise, as in my uh, eviscerate is still right next to my strafe right ability, except with the with the um, the uh, what's it called? I've forgotten. D pad, sorry. Um, with the D-pad on the side, I have down on my D-pad as my blind. My right on my D-pad is uh, shift, like that. Uh, so I use shift modifiers, so like, for example, like I said earlier, my eviscerate is F, whereas my shift F is cooldowns, like that. So it's just a lot easier to press, it means more keybind sort of thing. But uh, yeah, my for example, recuperate is um, shift and then 11. I'll have... Um, because on the Nostromo all the buttons are numbered, so I'll put a picture of the Nostromo and explain it again. So, but yeah, my uh, evis, uh, not my eviscerate, my um, rupture ability is just under my S on the keyboard, so that'll be moved forward. On the Nostromo, it's just under eight, so rupture is thirteen like this. So if I press that, parries it obviously because it's a dummy. It uh, ruptures it like that. So again, it's just the same positioning. Um, use abilities that uh, use a lot. You put them closer towards your movement keys, basically. So I'll put a few pictures up explaining what I mean with this as well. Okay guys, I hope this guide was um, helpful if you're just starting to keybind for example. I um, hope it gave you a good insight on how I sort of keybind mine and how you can easily do it sort of thing. So um, like the video, add to favourites and uh, subscribe for more videos.